This video will give you a quick overview of some of the most common questions that we get at Codeweaver's tech support regarding uh, your Macintosh and how to navigate around your Mac. One of the questions that we get a lot is, what is my dock? Um, and the dock is this toolbar down here at the bottom of the screen. These are typically the apps that you run uh, very frequently in your day-to-day -day operation. And you'll notice a couple of prominent features over here on the far left. Uh, we have an icon to fire up your finder, which is how you navigate the file system on a Mac. And we'll be talking about that in a little bit more detail here. And then over here on the right side, you'll see your applications folder, uh, your downloads folder, and your trash can. So how do you get an application onto the dock? And that's easy enough. You just uh, open up your applications folder and uh, pick an application. Let's you know, pick font book here. So here is my font book application and it's firing up. And you can tell that font book is running because down on your dock, you'll see underneath the font book icon, this little uh, glowing light that says, here's an application that is actually running. And you can see some others on my dock as well, Audacity, my screen capture. If you decide that you like font book and you want to keep it around on your dock forever and ever, uh, the way you make that happen is by control clicking on the icon and then there are options say, keep in dock. And similarly, if I decided that, nah, yeah, I really don't like Fontbook that much, and I want it off the dock, I would do the reverse. I would control click options and uncheck keep in dock so that when I get done with Fontbook, uh, it goes away. So that is uh, basically how you get things onto and off of the dock. Next question we get a lot of is, what is my menu bar? Because the menu bar operates a little differently on a Mac than it does on a Windows computer. So let's go ahead and fire up Fontbook again, just for the sake of it. So Fontbook fires up, and you will notice uh, that the top menu bar up here, I uh, have our little Apple icon, and it says Fontbook. So this is Fontbook's menu structure. But you'll notice that if I, uh, activate another application, so for instance Firefox. When Firefox becomes the active application or the foreground application, you'll notice that the top menu bar has now changed to be Firefox's menu bar. So the menu changes uh, depending on which application it is that you have running. So now it's my mail menu bar, now it's my numbers menu bar, now it's Audacity's menu bar. But that is how uh, you do things under your Mac. Another question that we get uh, in tech support a fair amount is, what is this Finder thing? How do I use my Finder? So let's go ahead and, and fire that up as well. Your Finder window can be located, uh, again, in the bottom uh, left-hand part of your dock. And if I go ahead and, and run my Finder, you'll see that over on the left-hand side, it has a number of some of the more prominent locations that I could navigate to. So my desktop, uh, my documents, uh, my downloads, my movies. You'll notice too that there are a number of different ways of actually viewing uh, things in the Finder. Um, one way is to click up here on this little uh, icon view, so it will show all of my folders and files uh, in an icon structure. I can uh, show those same things in a list view so I can, I can look at my list and I can sort it on, you know, date modified, size, what kind of uh, items I'm looking at. I can look at it in a column view. So if I want to navigate through the tree structure, let's say I want to go through my design projects back in 2013, um, that's the column view and, and how I would navigate through there. And then there's also a mode known as cover flow. So if I click on this icon, it will now show me the various files and things in a sort of a, a picture format. And it's very quick and easy to sort of flip through these things and say, oh, yeah, that's, that's what I want right there. So those are the navigation modes uh, for, for the Finder. Another question that we get in tech support is, where is my home folder? Um, how do I get to that? And the easiest way to find your home folder is again to fire up the finder 
and then go up to the go menu up here and just click on home. So what this shows you is that uh, on your Macintosh file system there's a folder called users and one of the users under that folder is myself, Jay Partial. And then underneath that, you'll see um, all of the, the applications, my desktop, my documents, uh, my downloads. Uh, basically, this is where all of the items that you see on the left-hand side of your finder, that's where they live, uh, is underneath your home folder. Another place that the people often ask, okay, well, where are my crossover uh, icons located? And those are under your applications folder under crossover and then if I were to go say to Microsoft Office here are all of the launchers for Microsoft Office and so each one of your bottles um, under crossover will have its own set of launcher icons and that's where they live as well again this is an alternate way to uh, if you fire up your your home folder and you want to see where your downloads are um, here are all of my downloads this is exactly the same as if I went down to my dock and fired up my download folder here you can see the same items uh, in there and the same thing is true of you know my movies my music my pictures etc 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 so that is how you navigate around in your home folder structure